back, there ain't no other way Pack your bags and then you will go away I'm not gonna be begging you to stay Today, I would handle this shit differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not, that's not gonna happen. So, even if you're asking, even, even if you're asking, cause I do what I do. And it's time for something new. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my travel vlog. You can already tell from the title, so I don't really need to get into it too much. I'm going to Ghana. I kind of hinted that I was traveling. Um, so yeah, I'm going to Ghana on Friday. So today's Tuesday and I haven't started packing. And today's kind of the only day I have to start packing because I have work. I don't really look camera ready and that's because I didn't really plan on filming and I just go out to the shower it's been a very gloomy day like just a chill day just been watching netflix and it's actually not every morning it's like two and i'm about to start packing so i just got out the suitcases and as part of this travel vlog um i'm going to do a quick little pack with me so let's get into it but yeah i'm excited i'm excited y'all know ghana is my happy place like <laughs> my personality is able to fully thrive when i'm in ghana i need the sun i need the food i need like you know just vibes and vibes and vibes um one thing i do want to share i don't have to share it but i feel like it would come up <laughs> one way or the other in my vlogs and since this is kind of the start of my ghana vlogs i would go ahead and share it now um this trip to ghana was planned like since the beginning of the year like since january and i plan to go for just other reasons unfortunately my grandma passed away um i know some of you saw i posted on my instagram she passed away last week it's very hard very very hard even though i look all cheerful and stuff I spent like two days at home just crying like yesterday was the first day I left the house since I found out um yeah it's just been very 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 tough on me but I'm trying to like be strong I feel like I'm still kind of in denial I don't talk about it I just avoid it I just I pushed it to the back of my head and obviously going to Ghana is going to bring all of those emotions because you know obviously <laughs> but it just kind of sucks because she passed away last week thursday and i told you i'm going to ghana on friday so it just feels like just one week like you know like it just sucks so bad like in just one week i would have potentially seen her anyway i don't really want to talk about it anymore i just wanted to throw it out there because obviously once i'm in ghana like in my vlogs i might talk about it because i'll probably like have to do funeral things and stuff so yeah the trip has kind of turned into a not so happy trip but i'm still trying to be excited about it so let's get this suitcase open just damn guys it legit just fell down like i almost i just tripped like i almost fucking fell down <laughs>
right, it's time to pick what bags I want to take. Obviously, I can't take all of them, but 100% sure up my guest bag because that is like my everyday bag. I think I want to do this one as well because it's new. I haven't really had the opportunity to use it. Um, this bag is kind of like a staple because it's black, it matches everything, it's like a nice cross body. Alright, now I have to really make decisions. I feel like I just want to add one more. I'm thinking this because I love this bag so much. All right, so my trick with packing my bags is I maximize the space. So instead of just like packing them, I put stuff inside them. For example, this here, I'm going to like change it out, but this bag always has like all my shades in there. I'm not taking all of these, but just an example. So I'm going to keep shades, like perfumes, cause like then the perfumes will be protected and just stuff like that inside the bags. So I'm just, using the space good morning guys mm. it's the day of my trip i just woke up like i'm so tired it's six something i just um finished taking a shower and got dressed i'll show you guys my outfit later but i had to vlog my phone because i've packed my camera because it's just more convenient on my phone um, so I'm about to finish getting ready. I have to finish doing my hair and my makeup. And yeah, I'm feeling excited, but I'm also feeling a bit nauseous. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I'm hungry. I'm too tired. My period also started last night, which is the worst possible timing because like traveling eight hours was dealing with that is just so inconvenient but obviously there's nothing i can do but um yeah whatever <sighs> guys i have a problem with my suitcase i have a freaking problem with my suitcase last night my soup got spoiled and i used all my home economic skills to try to fix the situation because i didn't really have an option i don't have another suitcase it's actually too late to go and find another suitcase so this suitcase is going to Ghana no matter what so I had to sew the zip which I did but now I'm so scared because I've seen how they just throw the suitcases like if they don't handle it with love this suitcase might not make it to Ghana it's like I'm praying so please pray for me and also you know how they do the luggage wrapping thing I don't know if they do it at the airport here because it's quite a small airport so i'll get there and i'll ask them but i really hope they do because then at least it'll be more secure but yeah i'm already running late i have to be at the airport latest by eight um it's already it's almost seven honestly and i still have to like finish my makeup eat take my trash out <sighs> it's just a lot so let's just get into it ready i've done everything and it's like 7 40 so i really have to get going my bags are packed ready to go let me just show you guys the whole the back of the suitcase i've even put tape around it not that it would do anything so this this black thing yeah this black thing this black thing opened let me just show you guys on this side this is what it looks like 
to it open and i guess the zip underneath it wasn't strong or something i don't know but it got torn and i didn't even notice like i closed my suitcase and boom the zip came off so i had to sew i don't know if you guys can see but i had to sew here just so that even if it opens it wouldn't open the rest of the bag and i did the same at the bottom you can even see a bit here that I don't know if it's focusing, but it's opening. But because I sewed it here, it wouldn't open the rest of the bag, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I had to sew this black thing down and I even stapled it. That is so crazy. But I didn't really have a choice. It happened last night and I just did the best I could. So I'm happy with it for now. <sighs> so yeah, I can just pray. Turn my fingers and pray that it holds up till Ghana and hopefully, I can wrap it at the suitcase. I can wrap it at the airport. But yeah, this is my outfit. This is the look. It's cute or whatever. Okay, waist. Um, so yeah, that's the back. I feel like I've lost weight. I don't know. I feel very tiny today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm about to call the taxi. I still can't decide what jacket to wear. All this I'm doing here, I have to be out of the house. But let me just show you guys my jacket options. This is option one and it's cause it'll be warm. Like it'll be warm enough. But then I also feel like I'm, I'm never going to use this in Ghana. So it's just kind of for my trip. I don't know. And I feel like I can get away without it. So let me show you option two. This is option two. And I think I'll go with this one just cause it's more like comfy. Um, yeah, it's not that warm. But it's also not that cold outside today and I'm hoping in the airport it wouldn't be that cold. So let me call my taxi guys. Bye. what it looks like i just took the whole thing out of the bag but i got that i got an iced tea i'm very tired of like sandwiches and bread because that's all i've eaten today like when i woke up i ate like a slice of bread with cheese then at the airport in Nuremberg, i ate a croissant in the plane they gave us a sandwich now i'm eating another croissant sandwich I just want real food. I really wanted like a salad, but they didn't have. And I've crossed like passport controls. Like all the food places here are just like sandwiches and stuff. Like all the real restaurants were before. I should have gotten food before, but I thought I would find something here. So 
that is my dilemma right now. Look at my nose, they're so pretty. But I'll have to cut them because I'll fix my nose and always cut them. But yeah, I just came to sit like in this area. No one is here. So I can talk to you guys. But I was feeling weird talking like in the midst of people. You know, I'm a shy girl. I don't know, it's given carbs and carbs and carbs. <laughs> Unnecessary calories, but yeah, it's fun. Like I feel like I've worked very hard to reach my weight goal, which I have. Because I lost, I don't think I've told you guys, but I lost like eight kilos between October and now. And oh, yes, some of it was stress, but also I was on a calorie deficit, and I really worked. So, and I wasn't even active in the gym, so I'm very like happy with how much I lost and like reaching my weight goal. So just consuming unnecessary calories just give me the ache. <laughs> but what can I do? I'm hungry. I can't starve myself. So I have like an hour left. I don't know when they will start boarding, but. When I'm done eating, I'll go back to my gate. And we'll see ya. I'm tired. actually can't do the heat like as soon as i got out to the airport the heat like engulfed me it feels like i was just entering a sauna i just noticed my face is so freaking white so please excuse that but it's the heat, it's the heat. But are you buying the water yeah let's get by the water okay i'll, I'll talk to you guys later okay hey guys i'm back to filming on my camera because we just got to the apartment and if you guys remember my mom and i bought an apartment about a year ago because it was last year in march you want pizza mm, no thank you i don't want anything like breadish bread jollof. yeah i want jollof and <laughs> sorry um yeah my mom and i actually bought this apartment a year ago because it was also in march and it looks completely different because i did like a tour at that time i think i did on my channel and like we divided it because it, it was one big studio apartment we made it a one bedroom apartment and yeah we made it a one bedroom so we put a wall and everything so let me just do a quick apartment tour i've not even settled down but i just want to do this before i get comfy because i know i'll get lazy come in this is kind of like the overview this is my first time actually seeing it by the way because my mom like i was on the phone with my mom and they were telling me all the renovations they did but this is my first time seeing it in person finished because i hadn't even seen pictures this is the bathroom the bathroom is still the same we haven't made any um changes to the bathroom so it's just like the sink the toilet shower I'm so sweaty, like I'm so hot, but I'm also so excited to be here. And yeah, so that's the bathroom. 
then we go here here is like the dining area this is like the dining set there's this huge mirror i'm obsessed with this mirror like it's so big so huge <laughs> but yeah why are you running why are you running um then this is like the kitchen area there used to be like this long island over here but we had to take it out obviously and we did a division um there's also this washing machine it's actually new i think they brought this in today actually they brought this in today what are you doing <laughs> i don't know what my name is doing but <laughs> then this is the kitchen it's looking good it's looking good this is the living area so this whole wall here here this whole wall we put it in like this place was open it was one long space and we made the division this is the living room it's very cute like i'm so freaking happy with how it turned out like i'm really happy about it because now it's like it's it has like dimension it has like <laughs> spice to it i don't know but yeah here's the tv the flat screen uh, looking very good then you come into the bedroom as you can see there's still like plastic on the door because like this is very new coming to the bedroom the wardrobe huge lots of closet space is here and this is the bed it's like a king size like this is hotel standard because we got like the bed in the bed everything from my mom's hotel so this is just like, like let me go back so you guys can kind of see the full view it's very very beautiful it looks amazing and yeah that's it all right guys the space is listed on airbnb so i will have like a link um in my description box so you guys can book this space i'm here for three weeks but after that it's like available for bookings you can book it like for your stays for your stays our minimum stay is two nights so and we accept like long term we even give discounts for like if you book like over a month yeah I just had to plug myself there. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is, I think, the end of the travel vlog. I have to, like, settle in. I have to, like, shower. I'm so sweaty. I have to find something to eat because it's almost 10 and, like, all the it's places 10. are... It's 10, okay. And the places are going to start closing. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll be back with more videos. Peace.